All right, so now we're going to add a little bit more to our query by using some other keywords here between and and order by. And you can also see that we also have the ability to use those math operators like we just talked about. So what is it we're trying to look for here? We want to see uh, all orders with a sales order ID between 10,000 and 50,000, okay? So we can go back to the query builder, um, sales order. Okay, so let's go to sales order header and columns, and we can see sales order ID is an integer. So that's another thing. We can explore the database a little bit in the Azure Data Studio here, so we can see what we're looking for. In this case, it's a number, it's not text. So what is it we want to find? We want those where we have a total due, uh, and you can see that is also a column that's available in this um, table, and that is a float, which is a numeric value, basically a, a numeric value with uh, however many decimal places you need. All right, so we're going to do a select customer ID and total due. Total due from sales LT sales order header. Okay, so now we're going to change this. Instead of the title, we're looking for total due is greater than or equal to 10,000. Now here we can use an and, so we'll use and total due less than or equal to 50,000. And then we also want to uh, sort these. So we'll use the order by. And we're going to order it by total due. Now by default, order by is going to give us things in ascending order, alphabetical A to Z or numeric small to large values. We want the largest values on top, so we'll switch that by saying descending. So we'll order by total due, descending order, uh, close the query with a semicolon, and now we can run it and see what we've got. Yeah, so here I've got the total dues between 10,000 and 50,000. And that little indent that I put under the and is just a common way to organize a query so it's a little bit easier for someone to read. All right. So we did it with and, but there's another way we can do that. We can use between. So let's see if we can do the same thing using between. So now I'm going to say where total do and you can see here I should have made that lowercase or total it do between 10,000 and 50,000. still order by. Now, here I've got two where clauses. Let's see what happens. Uh, they're both doing the same thing. So you would think I would get the same things back, my same six rows in my result set. But here uh, it's saying, wait a minute, you've got two where's going on here. What's up with that? It doesn't like that. So basically I've violated the syntax rules here. Generally, if I want to add more to a, a clause in my SQL, I would add commas. But here I just typed in another where. But because I don't want to get rid of all this good stuff I put here before, I'm just going to turn it into a comment. So SQL allows you to do that. Almost every programming language allows you to do that. So I'll type in slash star and then end it 
over here with a star slash. So now my original less than and equals to and greater than and equals to is a comment. And now I'm just using the between here instead. And I get those same six rows. So I could go back and forth and change that however I want uh, just by switching the comments on and off. All right, so I run it again. Yeah, I get the same thing. Okay, so that's another uh, good thing to know is commenting. You can, uh, if you write especially a complicated query, you might want to throw some comments in there just to give yourself a little heads up of what it is you're trying to accomplish in that query. All right, so we have uh, created this query. Let's go back to the uh, module and see what we want to do next.